Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later. Mount Ebbet, year 201X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Hello saviors and welcome, my name is Savar24 and today I'm going to be playing Undertale. This was a game I found on Steam that was highly rated and it was also being played by several other YouTubers of various kinds, one of them I'm subscribed to, but I have not watched anything about it. All I really do know is that there is, this is the first RPG game that you are able to spare your opponents in order to progress through the story. I'm not entirely sure what to think about that because it's an entirely unique and different concept. Uh, I do know that there is two routes you can mainly take in order to play the game. A genocidal and a pacifist route. I meant to say those the other way around, but the point is, is that you choose which way you want to play. And it seems like a really good thing to do, too. So, I figured I would play this game and see what could possibly happen. And that last scene is pretty epic. He trips over a vine after finding the hole and goes a long way down. And is now forever trapped underground amongst the monsters that are sealed in the ruins. What fate could possibly be held for this poor, lonely, human. That is a long way down, too. I can't believe that. How would anybody even be able to survive that is my question. But that's not, that's not important right now. What is important is we get started with the game. Hi! Nice little flower. Okay, so... I A R Save R! Yeah! Let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, so I just start right out of the get-go? Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's really simplistic style of artwork, isn't it? Just nothing more than a 16-bit graf 16 graphic game. Oh. Nothing has to be high-def in order to be good. Hi! Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Okay, so there's dialogue in this game, but there's no actual voices. That's fine. I like to make voices myself. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the Flower! Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Oh, okay, I can move. Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. Of course, who doesn't want love? You want some love, don't you? I just said that. Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Thank you. He just winked at me with his tongue sticking out of his mouth. Down here, love is shared through little white, Friendliness pellets. Friendliness pellets? And why are they encased in parentheses? Uh... 
Are you ready? Move around! Get as many as you can! Oh. Oh, hello. You idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed! Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh, jeez. DIE! Uh... I can't go anywhere. What? Hi. Bye. <laughs> Hello. What a terrible creature. Torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Her... Her tone to her dialogue makes her seem like a her, obviously. And she really doesn't pose a very intimidating bearing right now, so probably a female figure of sorts. Yeah, as opposed, as opposed to a male figure. What a terrible creature, torturing such a, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. So, I'm not the first human? This way. Okay. A flowey just tried to screw me over, so should I really be trusting you? The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Oh. Okay, so these act as my save points as well as my, uh, restoration, as well as for restoring my health. Okay. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Okay. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Okay. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Okay. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. That being a sign that I need to press Z to read in the first place. Thanks! Stay on the path. Okay. The first switch is over on the wall. You did label these things, didn't you? Please... Please press? Please press this switch, Toriel. Okay. Go on. Press the switch on the left. What happens if I press this switch? No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. Okay. Please press the switch too, Toriel. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Okay. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay. You encounter the dummy. Attack zero, defense zero, a cotton heart, and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. What? Dot, 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 dot. Dummy stands around absentmindedly. Okay then, talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Well, of course it doesn't seem much for conversation. It's a dummy. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You are nothing. Ah, very good. You are very good. For what? Talking to a dummy? There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Okay. I don't see anything special. Froggit attacks you. Uh, check. Frog it. For attack, 5 defense. Life is difficult for this enemy. <laughs> uh, oh, that face. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> yeah.
You won, you earned nothing. Could you look a little more intimidating there, Toriel? Oh, spikes. I didn't read that sign. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Huh? This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Aw, that's adorable. Oh, she's walking me through the trap. She's walking me through the puzzle. And she's got her eye on me the entire time through. That is adorable. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Okay. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Ah. Uh, music got very eerie all of a sudden. Um, is something gonna happen? This is a really long hallway. Hi, a pillar. Are you hiding behind the pillar? Really? Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Why? Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business and you must stay alone for a while. You test my independence by making me walk to the end of a hallway. Okay... Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! <laughs> oh, that was a hilarious and ridiculous musical parody. Okay, so... Stats. Save R. LV1. HP, 20 out of 20. Attack, 0, 0. Defense, 0, 0. EXP, 0. Next, 10. Weapon, stick, armor, bandage, no gold. Okay. Say hello. Dialing. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello. Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. Hee <laughs> hee. I can say hello again, okay. About yourself. Dialing. This is Toria. You want to know more about me? Well, I am afraid there is not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. Aw. Call her mom. Dialing. This is Toria. <laughs> huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Like, okay. Flirt? Okay. Put that face again. <laughs> huh? Oh, heh, heh, ha ha ha. How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Oh, don't put yourself down like that. Do I really have to stay here? I'm guessing not. Let's get a move on. Hi! Ring. Hello? This is Toria. You have not left the room, have you? I just did. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. Okay. It would be dangerous to try and solve them by yourself. Be good, alright? I thought I saw buy in there somewhere. Click. You're not gonna... attack me, are you? Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Okay, then. What's up here? What's this? It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Ooh, piece of candy. You took a piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. Okay. Items. Monster candy. Info. Monster candy. Heals 10 HP. Has a distinct... Non-licorice flavor. As long as it's not black or... Uh, black licorice, I'm fine with that. I can't talk. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. 
Okay, then. Oh, battle. Wimson approaches meekly. Check. Attack 5, defense 0. This monster is too sensitive to fight. Aww. I have no choice. Whoa. Um. I didn't do anything. Wimson continues to mutter apologies. Console. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Aww. Poor little guy. You won, you earn nothing. Okay. Okay. So... Those are gonna collapse under my feet, aren't they? Yep. Okay. Well, that was easy. So... Those doors are one-way doors and I can't go back up? Okay. That's fair enough. Ring. Hello? This is Toriel. For no reason in particular, do you, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? I like both, but I think I'm going to have to go with cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Look. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Probably not. Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Okay. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. What? Okay. Oh, hello. Wimson. Console. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Poor little guy. Wait, what? What the? Um, how am I supposed to... There's gonna be a hidden path here, isn't there? Where did it start? Here? Now! Okay. Please do not step on the leaves. Oh, I get it. The leaves show me the path to the exit. Okay, I can do that. Mold small. Check. Attack 6, defense 0. Stereotypical, curvaceously attractive, but no brains. What? Blurble burp. Okay. Mold small, mold small burbles quiet. Uh, imitate. You lie immobile with mold small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Blurble burp. Okay. Mold small burbles quietly. Wimson just disappeared after you consulted him, so... Is that it? Do I just... Am I done? Spare. Yeah, I win. Okay, I got one gold. Okay, cool. Into the door. Okay, so the leaves were pointing me in this direction. What's this say? Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Yes, I did. Bolt small block the way. Okay, so imitate. You lie immobile with Mold Small and you feel like you understand the world a little better. Slime sounds. Oh. Oh, okay. So, they explode. Mold Small waits pensively. I got money again. Okay. How do I gain level, though? Oh, hello. Froggit and Wimson drew near. Okay, so, Wimson is pretty easy. I just gotta console and he gets right out of there. Meow. Hi. Hi. You are intimidated by Froggit's raw strength. Only kidding. <laughs> okay. Uh, compliment? Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Blushes deeply. I made a frog blush? What? Froggit seems reluctant to fight you, so can I spare him now? Yeah, there we go. Two gold. Okay. 
Winston didn't give me anything, so I got two gold from Froggit. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? I saw partner, so I immediately gave him a country accent. Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Okay, I need you to move a little farther. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alright, how's this? That's the wrong way. Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. Yeah, there you go. Was that helpful? Sure was. Hey, get back over there. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Aren't things easier when you just ask? Depends. Be a little difficult, why don't you? This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Okay. <laughs> the little mouse squeak there, that's pretty cute. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. What is with this determination thing? I don't understand. Hi! Are they gone? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, <laughs> pretending to sleep. Okay, so he's not actually sleeping, he's just pretending to be asleep. Oh, that is pretty funny. Yeah, I never really understood that. Why did they use Z's to indicate that somebody is going to sleep? I don't get it. But that's pretty funny. That's clever. <laughs> move it with force. No, I don't want to move it. Get, can I? Can I? Oh, what? He's... I have to? Uh, there, are they gone yet? <laughs> that is hilarious. That's pretty funny. Uh, move it with force. I have no choice. Here comes a Napstab look. Napstab look? Yeah, this music's kind of catchy. Alright, that's pretty cool. Okay, so naps to blow. Check. 10 attack, 10 defense. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Oh, oh, okay. Ah! Is all this for your tears? What? Naps to is staring into the distance. Um... Uh, flirt? I just weigh you down? Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Oh, he's not even feeling up to attacking. And you wouldn't weigh anybody down, come on. Now the is staring into the distance. Uh, I don't want to threat him, so... Cheer? You gave Nats the a patient smile. Okay, so you're crying again. Are you just gonna cry for the entirety of the fight? Nasty Blook looks just a little bit better. Okay. Now can I flirt? I just weigh you down. Okay, that's different. Whoa! Ah! Oh, okay. Hello. Nasty Blook looks just a little bit better. Do I just, just keep cheering him? You told Nasty Blook a little joke. <laughs> Hi. Okay, you're crying again. Cheering seems to have improved his Naps the Blook's mood again. Okay, so let's just cheer him again. Naps the Blook wants to show you something. Let me try... I call it Dapper Blook. Do you like it? Oh! He cried himself a top hat! That's pretty cool! Naps the Blook eagerly awaits your response. Cheer! Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. Today, I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Why does he seem so depressed? I was just guessing as to which way I could go. Did you miss it? Spider bakes sailed down into the right. Okay, I did miss it. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of... Sp of spiders? What? Uh... Is that sanitary? I'm not sure I'd want to eat anything that's made of spiders. 
course, in a sense, it kind of makes sense because um, spiders do eat the male. The female spiders eat their males, their mates, in order to uh, preserve their young when she's pregnant. So, okay. Fun fact for you, if you didn't already know. So let's see this. Spider Bake Sale. Spider Bake Sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Okay. Leave 18 gold in the web. I don't have 18 gold. What's this? Leave 7 gold in the web. I don't have 7 gold either, so no. I'll come back to this. I'll probably get something from the Spider Bake Sale, because I don't have many healing items. But I'll probably come back to it. So what do you guys say? Ribbit, ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. <laughs> I actually did that earlier. I think it was against one of the fights with Bolt Small? Yeah, I accidentally hit X once and uh, it skipped through the conversation. Ribbit, ribbit. Sigh. My friends never listen to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing S. That's right, pressing X. Oh, not you too. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I wanted to see what could possibly happen. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. I'm already in full screen. But what does F4 stand for? For frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Okay. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful. For a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very, it's helpful, bad. Uh, okay, very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Okay, so that makes sense. Uh, I didn't catch it at first, but when a monster turns their name yellow, you're able to spare them. Some monsters automatically start off yellow, so you can spare them immediately. Okay, good to know. Ring. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. It's been a while since you've seen me, too. I was not expecting to have company so soon. Really? There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Good advice. Hmm. Okay, so what's up ahead? Um, hmm. you know what, I've been recording for a while, and then, uh, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm gonna want to try and keep this episode, these episodes as short as possible, but at the same time, I kind of want to keep them at a specific length, because I don't know how long this game is gonna be, but this is a pretty funny game so far, I, I like it, it's got a nice little easy style to it, it's nice and calming, it's got some pretty good humor to it, so, yeah, this game is pretty good. I'll leave the video here. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in the next video. I wonder what's going to happen next. Take care everybody.